All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're gonna upgrade a HP Spectre X360 convertible laptop, and we're gonna be using this SSK, or SK, M2 SSD enclosure that you can get on Amazon for about 15 to $20. Um, it's pretty handy, and we're also going to learn how to clone the original M2 that's in there. We're gonna replace it with this. This is a updated, bigger one terabyte um, SSD hard drive, and we're going to upgrade the RAM as well. We're using this crucial 16 gig kit, and you can see the serial number in the video on the screen. I'm also going to put it in the description below and uh, Amazon affiliate links to all these products if you're interested in purchasing what you see in this video. So first things first, we're going to open up our SSK M2 enclosure and we are going to just slide it open. It's pretty straightforward there. And you're gonna see that there is the front and back of this. You're gonna see that you're gonna wanna place your M2 drive there and you're gonna wanna put it back in the case. Um, all you have to do is get your M2 drive, put it in at an angle and then slide it down and screw it in. Example, um, you want to put it in at an angle and make sure it actually like fits in there And so you want to snap in your M2 drive at an angle here And then you can press it down and you're going to want to screw it in on the other end of the drive And you'll see that placement for the screw once it's in And so here it is plugged in at an angle and you're going to see that it just kind of hovers there It's got a tight fit and then you can press it down and screw it in there's also some thermal tape that comes with your hard drive. You don't need to use it, um, but it, whatever you know, M2 drive is gonna be in there long term, just make sure you put that thermal tape on. Um, it'll help with heat dissipation uh, when using your M2 drive as an external drive. Once everything's screwed in, um, we can just put it back in the case and use our USB cable to connect to a PC. With your disconnected, it's time to clone our M2 drives. We're gonna use uh, MacRim software. Um, this does have a free trial that works great for initial cloning of a drive. So after it is installed, um, just make sure that you direct it toward your USB drive and tell it to clone the current M2 drive. So let's look how to do that. First of all, we need to download the MacRim Reflect software so you can download a download agent. It'll get that running and set up and just make sure to look at all the different features as you install this and you're just going to have to reset your computer once it's done installing now from here we can see that we have our disk that's plugged in this is a one terabyte m2 and we're going to clone our current disk so here's macrim software we can see our current disk on the top with all its partitions we're going to clone this to this empty disk on the bottom it's as easy as clicking clone this disk and Macaroon will take you through the rest. Um, it's that simple. So I'm gonna speed through the settings here, but the default settings are fine for cloning your disk. And once done, once the hard drives are switched out, you're gonna see that there's unallocated space now on this one terabyte disk. And we can just create a new simple volume using our disk management tool through Windows. Um, and so that's included in Windows. And to open it, just search for disk management in the start menu. And with that, you now have a fully cloned drive. Your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. So my HP Spectre is a CH-011DX. That's the model number. But this will work for pretty much any CH-011 model. Um, so look at your model number, understand the specs, and what you need to upgrade. Um, there's about five uh, different screws, maybe a little bit different for you and your model, um, but there's two in the front um, and there's four in the back. And you really need to remove the rubber padding, the rubber feet on the laptop to uncover those screws so you can take them out. So the two in the front for me were Torx uh, T5. Um, and so I needed this little cobalt uh, handy dandy screwdriver for microelectronics. Um, I have a link in the description below. It's also an affiliate link if you're interested in using the same screwdriver. And then there was four Phillips underneath the feet in the back. Um, so overall, pretty easy to remove. Um, and I did notice that, you know, this laptop was pretty old. Uh, one of the Torx screws in the front, it just wasn't holding in place very well. Um, so I did replace it with a very small uh, Phillips screw that I just found uh, hanging around. It actually came with the um, SSK uh, hard drive enclosure, which was pretty cool. So overall, um, changing out the hard drive here actually helped my laptop in the end. 
So just carefully remove the rubber feet in the back. I just kind of slowly remove it because I don't want to like leave any glue residue. Uh, not a fan of that. And you also see there's a little like plastic sticky piece as well that's covering the screws. And you can kind of pry that up if you'd like, or if you have good nails, you can uh, kind of pry that up. Um, but overall, um, pretty easy and straightforward to get to the screws. So I'm going to speed run through this portion, um, just prying up that little plastic piece, taking off the rubber foot. I'm going to set that to the side, uh, make sure I have a small Phillips screwdriver here. Again, um, if you have the cobalt uh, screwdriver here, it comes with everything you need. And then just taking off the little sticky pad so I can get to the screws easily and taking out all four screws in the back there. And with the two torque screws in the front also removed, we're good to uh, lightly pry this plastic cover off. And when I say plastic, I really mean aluminum um, with the HP Spectra series. And so be very careful as you unsnap this bottom cover from the laptop. So it's kind of like hooked in there with little plastic hooks on the inside. Um, and there's hooks in the center as well and all throughout the sides. And if you bend this aluminum cover too much, um, you know, it has memory, uh, sort of, but it can stay bent if you bend it too much. So if you're too rough with it, um, you do risk damaging your laptop. Um, you know, through doing this, I maybe slightly bent uh, a small corner, but once the screw got put back in, I was good to go. There was no like damage to the laptop. So don't do what I did and be rough with this. Um, take your time, pry it off lightly. Um, which with each corner and if you have a plastic pry bar um, you can use that as well but just take a look at the hooks as you pry it off as a note if you have a 3d printer i do have a model for a plastic pry bar that you can use i'll link it in the description below um, it comes in handy and uh, we used it in a previous diy video for a jeep um, radio removal All right, now that the bottom cover is off, let's look at those little plastic pieces that snap in. You're gonna see there's some in the center, and there's some in the corners, the front, sides, etc. Um, and so just be sure you're very careful as you pry this off. Again, this thing uh, doesn't really have memory. It's, it's you know light aluminum, so if it does bend, it's gonna be stuck in a bent state. Um, although you can probably bend it back, um, but just be very careful because Taking this off, uh, you, you run the risk uh, of damaging the um, exterior of your laptop. Uh, and what you're gonna see in here is you're gonna see where the memory is in the center here. It's covered up with a little plastic piece. You'll see the two fans for the CPU and video card. Um, you're gonna see the battery here in the front and you're gonna wanna disconnect the battery here um, before you do any work in your laptop. And then you're gonna see the M2 drive. It's covered up in the, in the uh, top here in the back. And uh, we're gonna uh, remove this little white USB strip here on one side so we can unscrew this M2 drive and screw in the new M2 drive. Of course, um, we're gonna want to have cloned our hard drive first before doing any of this. So again, I've cloned my drive. I'm gonna remove it from my M2 enclosure. And once that is removed, I'm gonna open up my laptop again and we're gonna switch out the old hard drive with the new hard drive. Uh, some things to be careful on. Again, do not pry too hard on the casing as it doesn't really have memory and you can bend it. And also uh, do unplug your battery whenever working inside of your laptop. So I'm gonna do that before I do anything else. Just pull that out. And then focusing in the top right corner, we're just gonna pull up that USB bar, gonna pull out the strip there. Um, it just comes out, there's a little blue strip, and I'm going to set that to the side. And for a better close-up, um, here is someone just flipping up the plastic pieces. Again, you only need to do one side, um, and then the M2 drive is just screwed in right there, and you can unscrew it and swap it out. We've had some practice with our SSK enclosure, so just put it in at an angle, press it down once it's plugged in, and screw it in. As for memory, the memory's in the center. You can remove this black sticky tape. You don't need to though, but you do need to pry up this metal aluminum tray that's covering the memory. And pulling out the memory is pretty easy. There's two little uh, nodules on the side to spring it out. And then you just pull it out at an angle and then put your new memory in. 
at an angle as well and press it down and you're, you're gonna hear a click sound. Once that's all well and done, you can put your laptop back together, make sure you plug the battery back in once all is complete and then just reassemble by going backwards from what you did before. So we just upgraded this laptop with a terabyte SSD. So it was 500 gigs before. So there's a lot more space to store files and we have more RAM as well. So we have more memory with the computer. So overall, this is a major upgrade for this laptop. Um, it's a two in one with a stylus. Um, so it's a great laptop in my opinion for doing work and doing design. Um, if you found this video helpful, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, put any comments or questions um, below. Thank you so much for watching.